FederTalk Historian has an advanced filtering and compression algorithm that further optimizes the storage capability. Data compression is an optional two-step process to report changes by exception and store only what is necessary to reproduce as close to the actual raw data trend. The first step is the exception test. This test filters all values out that only differ slightly from the previous value. When a value passes this test, that value and the previous value are reported. The snapshot and the previous values are saved in order to produce an accurate trend of the raw data. Taking a look at an example of a compression test, we have one value currently in our archive. As we get new values in, based on the compression deviation, we take a look at the slope between the archive value and the new values that have come in. As long as the slope remains constant, we wait until we get a new value that actually falls outside of that compression deviation. Once this anomaly occurs, we set our new archive value as the point that falls outside that deviation in order to save the previous slope, and set a new compression deviation based on that new archive value. We continue doing this, removing all points that fall within inside of the compression deviation as we get new archive values coming in with new slopes. After compression is complete, when data is requested from the Factory Talk Historian system at a specific time, the return value will fall within the compression deviation set for that data point. Taking a look at what our raw data would look like after exception and compression has completed, we first take a look at what our raw values coming into the system would have been. All the points that have become outlined are the points that would have been removed after the exception results. And finally, all the new points that are outlined are the points that would have been removed after the compression results. In the end, we see that we have a trend that very closely maps our original raw data. In Factory Talk Historian, every live data tag can be individually configured for exception and compression testing.